What's up everybody, Patrick here. Just wanted to make a video um, about my bike. Some upgrades I've done over the past few months, kind of inspired by another YouTuber, uh, Mark Giorgio, who uh, has a similar bike, you know, very entry level, uh, Trek Marlin, and uh, did some similar stuff too. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I just wanted to share some of the stuff I did and how I did it. Uh, this is a 2013 Trek Marlin purchased here in uh, Boca Raton. Don't know what size it is, but it's pretty large. And, um, you know, I originally started with these upgrades um, because of the drivetrain, you know, uh, got some chipped teeth in the chain ring and you know, so I decided to do the 1X upgrade. So I started looking for parts. And uh, let me turn this bike around here. Went with the, whoa, Shimano Z. Shimano Z crank. Um, got some cheap pedals on Amazon. So it's a Shimano Z crank and I paired that with a older Shimano XT cog. Now this is a one, two, three, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a 10 speed cog. Um, so it's definitely not one of these newer ones. I live in Florida. I rarely go onto the three highest chain rings. I could pretty much single speed it, um, but it's nice to have a few gears. I stay in about three gears most of the time. Um, I ride on road a lot, off road, you know, try and get out there as often as I can. Uh, Shimano Z rear derailleur. So that, that, that was the first upgrade I did and I uh, felt really good. Um, to get rid of that front shifter, front derailleur, you know, really just simplified things. After that, did just a bunch of smaller upgrades, did a stem, just got a shorter stem, you know, beat the crap out of my, my seat. So I got a new seat, uh, some Asian off-brand seat posts carbon fiber, same thing with the handlebars, carbon fiber, got some new grips. Um, now my wheel became out of, I don't know, out of true at some point. So I grabbed this wheel off of, I don't know, I think it was eBay. It's about hundred bucks. Most of these parts, incidentally, I either grabbed from Jensen or um, eBay or pin bike um, really cheap really inexpensive um, except the except the handlebars and the seat posts that I got from uh, uh, DIY carbon bikes.com really good guy there so and then recently I made the plunge got rid of the original Suntour fork um, and went with a RockShox Recon 29er, one and one eighth straight tube uh, steerer. And at the same time I did that, I installed the uh, I installed the new headset. I got a nice uh, Cane Creek headset, <clears throat> and I used. Uh, Homemade tools, long bolt. Uh, if you Google, you know, do it yourself, head to press, you'll find one of those. It pressed it right in there. I gave it a whack with a mallet. Um, and it pressed it right in there. Um, that's about it. Really, the only thing left on this bike. Oh, I put some Shimano Ice Tech ro rotors on there because. Uh, when my wheel got bent, my one of my ro rotors got dinged, so I just upgraded those. So pretty much everything from the bottom bracket to the fork, 
Oh, tires. Uh, Continental Race King Black Chili Compound. Got these on sale. They were like half off at Christmas. Uh, maybe 30 bucks a tire. So really cheap, really light. Still running tubes. So everything is upgraded with the exception of the rear wheel, which I don't think I'm going to do. The rear wheel is great. Um, and the brakes. The brakes are shot completely. Um, these are the original Tektro brakes from 2013. Original pads, too. They are... They are in not good shape. Um, I'm going to replace those probably this re this week, probably with some uh, Shimano Dior SLX XT. Find something on sale on eBay. Uh, hopefully pre-bled. I've never done anything hydraulic before, but looks easy enough. Um, yeah, everything's upgraded. Pretty easy, you know, with YouTube and, you know, some basic mechanical knowledge. Um, you know, to do most of these upgrades on your own. I have been working on bikes my whole life, but, um, you know, never did stuff like a bottom bracket or a headset. That was, that was tough. But, um, yeah, I just thought some of you folks with, uh, you know, that, that don't ride the, the new bling bikes every year that, you know, like to work on your own bike and, uh, do your own upgrades and appreciate the, uh, older, frame sets, you know, these frames are so stiff and so strong and they're really not that heavy either. Um, it's got a decent geometry. Um, what do they call it? The G, G12, G2 geometry, whatever it is. It's, you know, it's really good. Um, you know, it really keeps up with, with, with a lot of the modern stuff out there. You know, it doesn't have you know, some of the newer angles, but it, you know, it rides great. You know, this thing is super stiff. Um, you know, if you keep up with it, this, this bike will last me my entire life. You know, if not passed down to one of my kids, you know, if you treat your frame good, you upgrade your components, you know, these, these bikes, there's a reason why they have a lifetime warranty. Um, you know, I'm not going to be launching them off cliffs or, you know, in any Red Bull commercials here anytime soon. So that's about it. Get some more angles on here. A little dark in this garage. Sorry about that. But I hope you appreciate the video. If you liked it, um, that's cool. But don't feel the need to subscribe or anything because uh, I don't really use this channel too much. So... Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.